when this little munchkin over here was a little kid, uh, we had three car seats at the same time in the back of a Daihatsu that only had two rear seatbelts. So we had to feed the seatbelt. This is before all those little clippy things with the little hooks and shit that we have in modern cars. She had to actually take the seatbelt. We fed it through one car seat, fed it through the car seat in the middle and clicked it to that side. Then we fed this car seat, this seatbelt through that car seat, through the middle car seat again. So the middle one was double buckled and the two outsides were single buckled and clicked it to that one. Completely and then they were all like capacity. wonky, right? You could like push on one and like the other two would go like this. And, uh, like that's how the kids, that's how they survive, man. Whenever we got in an accident, they just flew up to the front, banged their head on the metal dashboard. We were like, get back in your seat! <laughs> Katie, how did you possibly have three kids in car seats? You didn't have financial stability. And I mean, I feel like raising Lizzie... You stole the car seats, is that what you're getting after? Yeah. <laughs> How were you able to raise three kids without financial stability at the same time when Lizzie's a full-time job as it is? We relied on Jesus. <laughs> I'm talking to Katie because she's closer to the microphone. <laughs> you did what with Jesus? Jesus mows my lawn. <laughs> His name is Jesus. No, I'm Cristo sorry. My gardener is Jose. It's not Jesus. <laughs> Breezy, what was it like being raised by your folks over here? Uh, it was pretty awesome being raised by them. Quite adventurous, as you can tell. <laughs> Although I don't remember the car seat stories, I was too little. <laughs> we did a lot more than the rest of the kids in school. What did you guys do? Well, they used to take us on trips and stuff all the time. Like, we took uh, different schooling just so we can go travel and wait for it. And they always made sure we did what we wanted to do. What kind of now, Katie, how were you able to take the kids on so many trips over the years when, again, you guys weren't financially stable in the beginning, but you still made a way? How did you make the way? Because I think most Americans want to find a way, but they don't seem to see one. How did you guys manage to find one? Three kids. We just figured it out. We, you know, they wanted to do stuff, so we made it happen. They wanted to play softball, so we got more involved and coached the teams and. Uh, that way, you know, it was a little bit easier financially because we were coaching, so we had a little bit leeway on that, but, you know, everything that they wanted to do, we just did whatever we had to do so that the kids could do what they wanted to do and be happy. And there's nothing more you she can do. She was super it's, high maintenance, bro. You just have to do, you know, you've got to make it possible for the kids to be happy and, you know, let them be kids and live their life and that's the only way they can go and, you know, hang out with other kids and learn to be, you know, real life and what life's about. If you keep them secluded at home, they're not going to learn anything. They don't learn to be social with people. You know, they got to hang out with other kids at different ages because they were, you know, the softball team ranged in a few different ages. So, you know, they would just figure it out. And, and from the girls playing softball, that also ended up in the opportunity for us to buy the plumbing company, which, where we are today, which, you know, makes us be able to live the life that we live. That plumbing company but it's wasn't not, shit. It's yeah, but it's all hard work. It's not easy. It took a lot to get here. Talk about exponential. You want to use the word exponential properly? I hear people say exponential all the time. I bought a plumbing company that made a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars a year, and I turned it into five million. That's exponential. All right, guys. So we're gonna keep putting these videos out there for you guys. If you have any questions about the beer that we make, or if you need any answers about the beer that you make. Go ahead and uh, hit us up in the comments here and we'll respond back to you. Also make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Instagram at Local Craft Beer.